What's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. My name is Damon. If you don't know who I am and you somehow stumbled across my channel, welcome. You're in my house. I'm just gonna throw on some shoes and we're gonna go outside and chat about my Range Rover situation. You see my Range Rover is broken and it's been to the shop now for the third time. They don't know what's wrong with it. It's not like it's like I broke it, it's just doing something where it's running extremely, extremely rough. And it's, it's odd because it's like not consistent. They, let me explain what they've done because they've been great. The guys at Land Rover Jaguar of Victoria have done nothing but treat us like royalty and have nothing but amazing things to say about the team there. They're just obviously having some challenges problem solving whatever it is that's going on with our specific vehicle. Range Rover Sport uh, Diesel. And they've been kind enough to give us this bad boy as a loaner. So what you're looking at here is a Range Rover Sport autobiography, which is pretty cool because um, this is a significantly more expensive, fancier version of our car. Now I know I just said car and I'm sure that triggers some people and sometimes I'll call it a truck, but don't get it confused. I know it's an SUV. The Range Rover Sport Autobiography, cool vehicle. Uh, it has some features that my Range Rover Sport diesel does not have. For example, I think it's locked, it is locked. It is, uh, it's got massaging seats. For the most part, the interior looks almost identical. Two little things here and there that are different. But for the most part, when you stand back and look at this vehicle, you gotta think, my truck, has 22 inch aftermarket wheels, they're black. Um, this has a larger brake package on it. It has very similar features as far as the styling goes. It's got a black roof, white body. It has black mirrors, my mirrors are white on We can get these painted. Uh, the trim pieces on my car are silver. These ones are all blacked out. Other than that, you gotta think, this vehicle is like probably close to $60,000 I think or more above my vehicle being that this is the supercharged engine and it's the gas engine this thing we used to have a supercharged Range Rover previous to the one we have now not this body style but the generation before it and I mean we went through like $2,500 a month in fuel the fuel costs were outrageous and now having the diesel engine I'm super grateful that you know, for just driving around the city, which is for the most part what we do with our Range Rover. Um, and I think for the most part, it's what most people do with their Range Rovers. We get, you know, 850 kilometers to basically $85 worth of diesel fuel. It is amazing um, because I already have a, a gas guzzler. As you can see, my Lamborghini Huracan right here. This is a supercharged V10. This vehicle chugs gas back like nobody's business if you are on the throttle so back to this um, this is our loaner like I said it's the autobiography let me grab the keys and I'll show you guys around the inside but this essentially is what we're driving because our Range Rover is broken and we have no idea what's going on with it hopefully they find out very soon let me grab the keys <laughs> okay we're back we got the keys so if I take you on to the inside of this vehicle, don't mind wifey, she's, she's had her coffees obviously from Starbucks. Um, these seats do something really cool. The seats in my vehicle do not, that is massage. So there's a massaging feature in this vehicle, but for the most part, when you just stand back and look at it, the seats look very similar. The steering wheel and everything and, and all this stuff is very similar. The one thing that is different is the gauges are different in this car. We also have the Pano sunroof in ours. So, you know, for the money, uh, other than it having more power and obviously bigger brakes, this does come with a stock uh, larger wheel. I mean, I would not trade, just for me personally, I would not trade my diesel and fuel performance in this vehicle, or sorry, in my vehicle for this vehicle. It just doesn't justify how much more money this thing's worth in my opinion so but don't get me wrong if you want a ton of power um, over the diesel engine this would be the suv to go with now i've had a lot of luck with range rover you know fingers crossed other than this uh, issue that we're currently having we've had no problems with our diesel vehicle it's been amazing um, the engine's been reliable we've had it for well over a year now we've put 
thousands, tens of thousands of kilometers on it. Nothing, nothing to complain about. So it's unfortunate that this came up. However, it's all under warranty. Everything they've been doing to try to fix it uh, has been free. And so far, this is what they did. They suspected it was an injector. And being that diesel engine injectors are extremely expensive the, the, on the Range Rover, they're like $1,200. They replaced one of them, was under warranty. We picked it up, it was still doing this issue. They took the vehicle back for the second time. They replaced all the injectors in the engine, which that's, you know, that's a huge bill. It's like a $10,000 bill, absolutely free and it was still doing it. So I feel bad, you know, a bit of a face palm situation because, you know, the guys there must be frustrated. They must be tired of looking at our vehicle in the shop, uh, but that is what it is. So two services and over $10,000 later, the Range Rover still has an issue and it's been there for four days now and they're still trying to figure it out. So they're going through the process and they're talking from what we were told to uh, the main factory over in England and they're working through the problem solving and hopefully we get our vehicle back because this is fun to drive and all, but um, we prefer our own vehicle. Ambo has been stellar. Uh, incredibly, I beat the living piss out of this car. It has a supercharged V10. A lot of people, if they boosted their vehicle or did something like that with severe modifications, you would think that it would decrease the life of the engine, um, potentially have challenges with the ECU and the electronics. This car has had nothing. I mean, I gotta give a huge pro, uh, shout out, thumbs up to VF Engineering for building such an incredible platform that it basically complements the Lamborghini V10 like beautifully. It's, it sounds insane. We could do a quick fire up. If you've never heard this car, this car is ridiculous. I'm sure my neighborhood's gonna absolutely hate me, but what fun would it be if we didn't fire this up? Oh yeah. So that is not even, like you can tell. That's 4,000 RPM, and uh, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I have a few neighbors that are currently looking out of their windows now. They're probably not used to the fact that I uh, typically leave when I go to make my videos away from my neighborhood. So this is the VF Engineering Supercharger. You can see nice and tidy. It looks completely factory, which is, I think is really cool. Now, I had the standard black, but you can actually get this in any color you want, the plenum, and we're thinking about changing it. So drop a comment below what color you think I should change my plenum to. I'm not exactly sure. I have a, I have a thing for blue. If you haven't noticed, I got blue. After, uh, after the fact, I painted these. So these used to be red. They are now a nice, bright blue. There is an actual name for this blue. I can't remember what it is, but I had the guys at um, Protective Film Solutions when they wrapped my car, they have a guy that comes in and specially paints these right on, believe it or not, with the rotor and everything all intact. They don't take uh, any of this apart, which is, um, I thought it was quite, quite impressive. So in about four or five hours, he paints all four corners on the car. And by the way, let, let me point out here, if you couldn't tell, they even have the Lamborghini um, inscription back over top. See, so it looks completely factory. And this was done back, what would it be, May. So look how well it's worn. So it's not like, you know, I've had any issues with these. They did a phenomenal job. And the wrap itself, the white um, being a satin white, this has no staining or anything like that. And that's in part to the fact that this was all ceramic coated. So they wrapped the car and then ceramic coated over top of the wrap. I have winter uh, tires for this car. Typically I would have them on right now, but it's been so mild. Uh, where we live on Vancouver Island, the weather has been nothing but just rain or this dry and beautiful and, and warm. So um, I switched back to my Vorsteiner. 20 inch flow forged wheels, 
these wheels are beautiful i mean they're just amazing for the for the, the bang for the buck and um they're finished in this stealthy kind of darker gunmetal color but the thing that i love most about them over top of my stock wheels is the fitment so the offset is made so that it's a lot more flush my stock wheels sit at least like half an inch i would say or you know two-thirds of an inch in inside the wheel well more so this gives a much sportier nicer look and other than the offset this is the same spec wheel as the stock wheel so other than the offset just coming out this still takes a 305 30 20 on the rear um, i'm running the sport contact sixes from continental and on the front it's a 245 30 20. that's about it for uh a little walk around on the Huracan. You guys can see some of the damage down here that I've done through winter, hitting snow and ice, taking the car up the mountain, but it is just part of the daily driven exotics lifestyle. So it comes with the territory. You would think I'd be upset, but I'm actually quite proud that this looks like this. I mean, from back here, look how beautiful the car looks. It's still insane. It's two inches off the ground. The fact that that front bumper isn't completely ripped off the car, I think is a huge testament to Vorsteiner and how, how tough and durable their products are. Because anybody else's product, I bet you uh, would have ripped ex like right off. All right, well, I'm doing a day with wifey. I think she's done getting ready. We're just gonna go out, enjoy the car. I'm not gonna vlog that. I wanted to give you guys a quick update as far as what's going on with the Range Rover because this is the third time it's in the shop. Pretty soon we're going to do some Range Rover adventures. We're going to take the truck a little off road. I mean, that's what that thing's designed for. And uh, it's going to add a cool element to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash that subscribe button. If you want to pick up some DD merch, you can go to dailydrivenexotics.com. Link in description. Uh, we have a sale on right now. We have some t-shirts that are on for half price. Go and check it all out. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a great day. Peace.